what's going on people welcome back to the channel it's your boy rocky Marden, and i'm back with another excited video tutorial so um in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to um enable the ghost note in studio one or i'm gonna show and i'm gonna show you guys how to force legato in studio one as well so um many of you guys may not know especially like in the dancehall world and the reggae world may not know really know what the force legato is all about so if you are a studio um fl studio user or a logic user you may know right but if you're new and you don't really know then i'm gonna show you how to do it i'm gonna explain how to do it so me just um just select a random tempo because we don't really make no rhythm so i'm just gonna select a tempo put in 90 something slow all right so what force legato is about is like you play the card but you want the card to stretch out so everything can match like go close to each other right in a studio one um a lot of persons keep on complaining say them don't know how to do it so i'm just gonna show you how to do it to make your workflow easier and then we can show you how how you can activate the ghost node so you can see the other cards within within upon the channel or within the piano roll just like in fl studio so your life can be easier so you can just edit and just play along with what you see i'm gonna really do that because well some of the time do but not all the time once me choose a scale and me, me lock my scale right using the 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 um the scale um correction you can't go wrong any card where you play wrong it now go play you just have to skip out and all you have to do is go inside and just fix it but make it just um fix this right now show no how to do this so me just have to choose any one of them here i'm going to show you how it's done so um so if you if you're new to studio one and you don't know how to get started or if you can't play midi right but you want to use the piano roll me can show you that as well because me normally use my midi for playing all of my tracks them drums keyboard you know you know me do my thing already you know so if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe right and if you're old and you see me already do my thing you just comment and let me know however me can show you how to do your thing now right so so it's very easy right very easy um first thing you want to do you want to identify like your skill or way i go play so you know say a minor like one of the easiest things so to my left you can see instrument uh, um audition notes and i'm thinking you just go there press the c and you find a a then you go to the to the type and you put natural minor then you turn on the key this right you see everything in blue highlighted right so you realize we don't have no piano roll you know we just have a blank some blank grids right but in order to get the piano roll you want to hold the control right and you see the, the pen tool the pencil tool highlighted just like that see it and then you want to drag so you drag out everything to where you want to drag it right that are easiest way if you get the piano roll activated in studio one all right all right so now we have a piano roll we, we just go delete this and we just go go back from scratch all right so, so we want we want to have we we force legato just like in fl studio i want to show a ghost note that we are focused on in another video yeah. so we just go play the card here yeah, and then we do this so we are go so make we just record something Alright, so we quantize this by pressing Q in Studio One. The shortcuts are very simple and straightforward. You know, just like what you think that's that's the shortcut for it. Alright. Alright, so Alright. So in order to get this done for force legato. It, you can actually search a shortcut and, and you can find the key what's assigned if you use a mac all you have to do is go um and if you use a windows i see in place you go you go preference no uh, all right hold on you go so 
For use a Windows or a Mac, you go the same place. You go keyboard shortcut and you just type in legato. So you find the legato. These are the legato here. Right, so you have the legato, you have the legato 10 seconds, you have a legato 20, 50, they have le legato plus overlap, legato plus remove overlap. Right, who wanna have remove overlap or who wanna have the legato? What this I go do? This I go like carry all the cards them close to the one another. So let me show you just a, a second. So me actually have all of my legato um shortcut them select already. So what me I go do? If we press Ctrl A or Command A, everything I go highlight, right? I'm um, just gonna press um it, for my system, which is a mark where me set me set alt command and forward slash. So it brings all of the cards them together just like that. In a FL Studio, I think you do something you no know, remember because a long time they use FL Studio and all the cards them get together, right? The other option what me set is me set is um command option and L. I see same thing you do. One of them just remove overlapping. So if me did have some overlap card, you would have removed overlap. And then one of them just force a legato. Simple as that. Right? And anything wanna match, you can just stretch it out manually. So, so me take off the pre code the metronome. Right? And then just a miss make a simple loop right so forward slash me set me on a shortcut sim so you can create your own a shortcut sim to your own like you all right so now we have this now we're going to show you that our first step of it as the activate the legato in a studio one now we're going to show you how we do the ghost note in a studio one which is very very simple just like how it sounds ghost note right so we are fine a bs and then because a lot of persons tend to like want to play and want to see what they play before for just follow through right because not everybody is good at playing the midi or so some people just good at um programming the 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 the, the, the midi notes manually with them with them uh, mouse click so we're going to show you how to do this now so now we have this me just do the same thing so um me go I'm going to just press Alt and double click this. I want a nice blue line go across. You know this one now. No. Sorry about that. So, I'm just going to go edit. Right? And then bring up this. Then I'm going to use the same option I'm going to tell you about. Which is ensure your pen tool come up and draw out the line right and then to the left all right so no one uh, of of everything so if i press this three little drop down the little menu icon to the left you will see you realize you want new window pop up right so we could just press this I could big up your screen right so if I press this you realize that nothing is there nothing so all I have to do is go to the um analog lab right and you want to press the icon on it just like that go back to your your 808 ensure say the i if you click this you can it's it gonna be editable so you can go in and, and edit it but more click this because I don't want to edit none at all because I want to add me um 808 tweet so I go highlight 808 right and then I go palm 808 so now you have this you can always like use your control now and tap in your bass notes right just like that with me not confusing with this song Right, and then you can highlight everything and force legato, and then you drop everything. Just like that, right? So what I try to show you is that when this card around is like a FB. So 
make some better. So that's the easiest way of a the ghost note and the easiest way of a force legato in a studio one. So if you enjoyed this video and if me never confuse you, if me confuse you, let me know. So me do it over again. But if you enjoy the video and if you learn something new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell, post notification, turn on the bell icon for further updated posts. So I'm a boy Rocky Martin.